dose, babes. Keep your coils tight. Keep your wicks wet. Yo, what up, everybody? Welcome back to Overdose Vapes. This is Travis hitting you up with a little bit of a quick look at uh, some hardware. This is not an in-depth review or anything because it's just it's a mech mod. Uh, we're going to go over a little bit of what I like about it, um, some things that maybe are cons. There's not a lot. And um, I'll just tell you a little bit about where I got it and all that kind of stuff, and we'll do a quick dive. Uh, but since it's a hybrid mech mod, there's not a lot to look at. We'll look at the switch, we'll look at the mod, uh, but that'll be about it. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, what is this mod? It is the McLovin from Comp Life. We got this from uh, Platinum Vapes, Platinum Vape Serum. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I will leave a link below so you guys can go check it out for yourself. Um, I got this on a, it was on sale for $99.99. Got one for myself, and also we ordered one for Panda uh, so that we can both have one. It's it's cute. It's you know I w I've always wanted a comp life authentic comp life mod. Uh, they're just they're extremely uh, expensive. Some might say overpriced, but I've always wanted one because I've heard nothing but great things about comp life products. And there's a huge following for comp life products. Even though they are extremely expensive, there's never a shortage of people that are willing to, to pay that money for those mods. And so that kind of says something to me about the quality of the, of the products. Now, after getting one uh, myself in my hands, I have to say that I totally get it. And since I've gotten this mod, I've been back to that website a hundred times trying to justify purchasing <laughs> more mods from them. Uh, you know, I, th I think that keeping an eye, you know, if you're interested yourself, there, this is no longer on sale, and so um, you could, you know, you will not be able to get this for the price that I got it for. But uh, keep an eye on that sale, um, the sale section, and I think that eventually it'll come up, and you'll you will be able to jump into the Comp Life um, uh, family, as it were, for a decent price. To me, I think ninety nine ninety nine was a perfect price for this mod. I, I am extremely happy to get it for that price, and because uh, I think it's actually. Uh, it performs for like at that price it performs way above that price range um, yeah let's jump up close real quick you guys can check it out see what I see what I see as it were and then we'll you know we'll talk a little bit more about it and I'll give it a final score Here we are uh, up close with the McLovin. As you can see, um, it is a very simple, um, you know, in all reality, it's very diminutive, it's small. Although it does, the um, top does fit a 24 millimeter atomizer quite well. It is a hybrid top cap design, so if you do have one of these, you need to make sure that your atomizer has a proud 510 pin, meaning that the pin sticks out from the bottom enough to make contact with the battery without the actual body of the RDA making contact with the battery itself causing a short so um, yeah as you can see it's you know very expertly uh, uh, machined there's no sharp edges around these hearts um, there, there's no burrs there's absolutely no flaws in the production of this mod the threading on this is butter smooth I've never had a mod that had cleaner threading than this one it is absolutely Im immaculate um, as you can see on top there, it's an 11, 2017, that's my serial number. That's actually a pretty high serial number, um, you know, the, considering the price of these things. I didn't expect that many to be sold, to be totally honest with you. The McLovin is not the most popular of the Comp Life series, which I, you know, I understand because of the heart motif, although I find it quite appealing. It is, um, although it is, obviously, you see how much of this tube itself is actually missing due to the cutout heart motif, it is surprisingly hefty. There is a, a nice weight to this, uh, due in part to the, the thickness of the metal itself and just the quality of the materials. Uh, especially when you have the button installed, it is quite heavy, quite heavy indeed. Um, I would say, I, I don't want to you know, wager a guess, but it's it's got some heft to it, there's no doubt about it. It is heavier just with the switch than, there are, than a lot of mods are with the batteries and everything installed. Um, 
I have a battery here in the back. I'll show you what it looks like once you have a battery installed. I have a nice little Comp Life battery wrap here. Go ahead and stick the battery in there. Secure it. And as you can see, that's what it looks like with the battery installed. Uh, I love these ones because these have these little Comp Life logos that stick out from the hearts. Uh, they line up damn near perfectly in there. Yeah, love that. I just love the way that looks. It looks great. It's going to look really good if you have custom battery wraps. Um, you know, if you just have your regular green um, Sony's or something in there, it still looks good in all reality, but it looks better if you have something custom. You're showing, you're showing your battery off with this mod, so you need to dress it nicely. Uh, the switch itself, as you can see, I'm pulling it, pulling the battery with the magnets here. It's a magnetic switch. Got a copper um, contact pin there that protrudes out when you push up. It's got a Delrin insulator here. I think it's Delrin, it might not be Delrin, but it's an insulator to prevent your battery from making contact with this, uh, the button housing. It's got a really stiff, nice stiff throw to it due to the magnets, but there's no, it's, it's a very clean throw. There's no crunchiness, there's no, you know, soft spots or hard spots. Um, every part of the battery or every part of the button pushes evenly, doing part to the, you know, the, the mechanism being magnetic. There is the button itself. It's got a really nice design to it. Complex skull. Yeah. We're back. Okay, so as you can see, it's got the heart cutouts all throughout the mod. Um, it's got a big, big fat magnetic switch in it with a really nice button. Um, obviously, I don't have the matching uh, top cap and RDA. So the thing about Comp Life is it's like an ecosystem. I think is the best way to describe it. The buttons are interchangeable. Uh, the they have an RDA called the Battle Deck, which you buy the deck itself, and then top caps that kind of match all the different mods. You know, so it's kind of like a one RDA fits all situation. And the uh, the top cap for this particular mod, the McLovin top cap, is like uh, ninety dollars. And so you're talking just for the top cap for this mod it's almost as much as I paid for the mod. And so it's really hard to justify that. But I have a, obviously I have the dead rabbit with the uh, butcher uh, competition cap on there. And it looks really, really nice as you guys saw in the up close section. Uh, the serial number is on the top of the, um, near the um, hybrid 510 opening. Come with an authentic, uh, you know, as you saw, a certificate of authenticity. Came with a little vape bag and um, yeah, you know, a sticker, stuff like that. Uh, very, very nice uh, packaging, very well done. Uh, High-end mods a lot of times don't come with anything and this did come with um, some accessories, which was great The button I think is probably uh, the feature that I'm most impressed with it's got a wonderful throw No crunchiness at all. This has got to be like the cleanest throw on any button. I've ever experienced very little um, Like maintenance needs to be done on it. You just it'll it'll like any button will it'll loosen up uh, you know, the contact will loosen occasionally and the button kind of gets protruded out from the bottom and then I just get in there and tighten it up with, by, by hand and it's it's back to normal again. Uh, now would I buy this at full price uh, and I'm not even sure what the full price on this was somewhere between I'm sure between 150 and 300 dollars which is a, what I see most of their mods go for. Um, it's hard for me to judge that because I did not pay that price for it. I'm extremely happy to have it at 99.99 and uh, I got some uh, custom battery wraps to kind of match it up and um, altogether I think we spent about $110 for this mod I am extremely comfortable paying that amount of money I think for that amount of money this is a steal so it's hard for me to gauge whether or not I would bought this at full price however there are other mods there that um, I can definitely see myself buying um, they have you know the HK's um, there's just so many nice ones. They have the new Predator mods, uh, anodized titanium Predator mods that are just so absolutely gorgeous. Um, but you're paying a premium for both design quality as well as you know functionality. Because this isn't just, you know, these aren't just good looking mods. These things are competition level beasts. And um, I, have, I feel very confident saying that. So um, I'm gonna give it a four point, I gotta give it like, 4.9 out of 5. It's absolutely one of my favorite mech mods I've ever held in my hand. Um, and this is, is this isn't even like the one that I would pick if I could have any of the Comp Life series. This is definitely not the one I would have picked. But I still think it deserves every point of that score. It is so close to a perfect mech mod. Just a design quality and materials quality and the button design and the button functionality. How hard it hits. It's It does not get much better than this. So uh, let me know below what you guys think of the Comp Life series. 
what you guys have, you know, what experience you guys have of it. And yeah, that's about it. I really love this thing. I want to thank uh, all you guys for watching and do, uh, you know, keep your coils tight. We'll see you next time. Peace. Oh, 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 oh,